Greetings, Cage Lanes. Cage Prime here with my live reaction of Kaiju number eight, chapter 107. Alright, so we're getting to see the new fighting style of Kafka. Let's see. Dual aspect strike. Delivering a new sur uh, surgenic technique. Okay, so he's like done some massive damage. Which is awesome. Everyone watches. I was like, sent him flying. He evolved his techniques. Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> Clean hit to the core. Major damage to Monster 9. How? Uh, we did it? I, I still don't detect any vital signs. Whoa, you did it, Gramps. It's not over yet. There is something off about its response. Yeah, his core is exposed. What's going on? It was an inner. It has an inner shield. Oh, even after pushing its defenses to the limit, the core is unscathed. In that case, I'll hit it again before it recovers. Oh, he's about to fire a laser, or something. What? I don't know what's that. Or is that just a roar? Just one more strike. I'll use my detection skills to find it. So it's you who ended up being my final obstacle. Wait, is he regened already? No, his arm's not fully formed. <clears throat> but he is regening around his core as well. And he's giant. And he takes a swipe. Number eight, it seems you used to be human. Whether it was those who defeated my masterpiece, oh, his arm is back in full form now, are the ones who were unexpectedly capable with number six, or compatible with number six. You've yet to betray my or betray my predictions in any significant way. It truly is such a pleasure. Getting to know you, human. Investigating, dissecting, devouring. The more I learn, the more I grow. And they're just. He just keeps hitting him. They, cons they compensate for their weakness as living organisms with intellect. They rule this planet with tools and laws. He just freaking clotheslined him. <clears throat> and that one hurt. They give. Uh, themselves up or they give themselves up for others or share with those weaker than themselves even though they have nothing to gain it doesn't make any sense not in the slightest that look on his face <clears throat> I want to know more what is this love humans talk so much about what they do why do they all dress the same what justice do they uphold when attacking others? Why do they live alongside certain animals if they aren't going to eat them? Why do they try when they're happy or so? What? Cry? I guess. What is uh, religion? I want to know. What is friendship? Is it different from love? I want to know. Okay, it's getting to be more I want to know. <laughs> What is society? What are laws about? What are gods? It would happen if a plant monster took over a human's brain. Weird. Uh, oddly specific. Uh, why do they act differently online? It's impossible to turn humans into monsters if they're exposed to faulty energy. I want to know. What is jealousy? What about envy? I want to know. Or, what if the brain remained while the monster took over? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I'll take everything. So, some of those thoughts are literally what we've seen him experiment with. In my pursuit of knowledge. So yeah, the, there's the plant thing... I assume that one's the the 
if the monster took over but the brain remained do you see it the human form the human culture humanity in its entirety laid the foundations for the world of monsters I've always dreamed of I have to put a stop to this right here right now <clears throat> oh got a booster pack coming out shut the hell up like I'd ever let you create such a world so he hits him in the side of the head all right but he blocked it oh right your attacks earlier were quite amusing thank you for showing me how much you've grown number two's presence is getting stronger now what? okay stolen together with Isal Shinomina the mega monster of destruction awaits it's my turn to show you so that's number two right so what you you just straight up have the DNA of the monster I didn't realize you take in number two's weapon huh I mean Aizou I guess was wielding it when you captured him and killed him but I didn't think you'd do this with it but okay the two-headed kaiju um name number two <laughs> uh, or should I say 11 because it's two and 11 or two and nine makes 11 and weird um, but anyway <clears throat> not sure what to say about this one so basically he's like Orochimaru now so at least we understand kind of the motives of nine he wants to create a world of monsters but also to know things human culture and our behaviors and our motives and drives and all that stuff are foreign concepts so okay so be it Problem is, he seems to learn very quickly. He's already adapting to Kafka. You know, the new fighting style he he seemingly was shown to be effective. But it's slowly becoming ineffective. So it's like, he's going to need some help. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I would assume that... Um, what's his name? The one with number six would be coming to help him because he's probably at this point it's been a few minutes he's probably taking care of the giant slendy man kaijus so I would assume he probably would come and further back him up but I don't know and there's not too many other people other than like the um like the the other foot soldiers that we saw a few chapters ago but they're still kind of busy so they probably won't be able to show up um but yeah we you got to keep nine on his toes he's always learning and he adapts pretty quickly to the situation but him bringing out like the true essence of number two i do kind of wonder like what was his power like because we saw what you know I saw could do with you know his gauntlets but like what was the monster truly like like what power are these gauntlets truly capable of that we never fully got to see too much was it just pure brute force I can't remember um <clears throat> but yeah uh I guess we'll find out in a second it's about to become a super slugfest I guess um, it'd be funny it's like he punches one face and then the other face reacts and he goes Ugh. it's like huh weird and then he punches him and, he's going, Ugh. <laughs> and then he starts punching both of them and then it's like double knockout you know something like that that'd be funny but uh, there, there was actually this uh, Popeye meets Sinbad the sailor and there was a two headed giant and like every time that he would punch one, that's kind of where the idea is coming from. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we'll see. But anyway, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. 
check out my other videos. I have a few others that I was trying to get up at the same time. Um, cause some of them are later than others. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Links down below for all them socials. I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. Until next time, Keishlings. I'm tired. The heat keeps getting to me. Sorry for the late.